chat GPT. Now you've definitely heard of it by now, but did you know that it hit over 1 million users in under five days? With that information, it's becoming pretty obvious to me that the world is seeing its true potential. Now AI isn't anything new, but OpenAI's chat GPT is one of the first chatbots we've seen that actually talks and responds to prompts as if it was a human. And the reason why so many people are using chat GPT and the reason why you can't go on TikTok without seeing a video about it is because of how intelligent it is and how simple it is to use. Now we all know how to use chat features online and that is exactly the way you operate this AI. Now, GBT is a program that uses AI to generate text. It works by looking at a huge amount of text online and using what it has learned to then generate new text that is similar to the text that is seen before. Now, this is obviously all from prompts and input from the user, but it is essentially a tool that then provides information on whatever you ask it. For example, you can give ChatGPT a prompt like, write me a story about a guy living in New York who hates his job and is on a quest to quit. GPT will then generate you a story about that guy and the job that he hates, along with all of the challenges that he's facing when it comes to quitting. And like I mentioned, this is done through prompts. And the more descriptive you are, the more detailed ChatGPT is gonna get. Now, it doesn't just stop there. You can actually ask the AI absolutely anything. And it has the intelligence and the training to then deliver an answer in the form of text that looks and feels like it has been written by a real human. It's actually only really limited to our own ability to be able to put in smart prompts and proper questions. And and that will be something that we touch on later in today's video. Now, for some, this may all seem super scary. AI that can answer and solve equations quicker than any human ready to use day and night whenever we need. Pretty terrifying, but obviously it does depend on how you look at it. It's pretty clear that the AI renaissance or revolution is upon us. But the real question is, is that a good thing? And what does that mean for us? Is it only a matter of time before we're replaced by super robots and computers leaving us pretty much redundant and out of a job? Now, personally, I don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon. And if we're careful and continue building AI in an ethical and structured way then we actually have a huge opportunity to become superhumans with the assistance of ai hopefully spearheading humanity into a very bright future now this video isn't going to be about how the terminator is going to be a reality anytime soon but it is going to be about becoming more efficient improving our skill sets and how ai can provide us with skill sets and services to offer the world that we never really could before. Now on this channel, we talk a lot about business and ChatGPT has been something that I see huge potential in when it comes to optimizing and increasing our efficiency within business. So I'm gonna be breaking down this video in three parts. Part one, we're gonna be looking at how AI is going to change business as we know it. Part two, we're gonna be looking at what impact is AI going to have on your life. And then last but not least, we're gonna be looking at how can you use AI as a superpower. So let's start with how will business change as we know it. And for this example, I wanna create an avatar. So just close your eyes and imagine along with me here. So his name is Pete, right? He lives in Dallas, Texas, and he has a car customization business. His everyday client is always looking at ways to modify their car. And you know, business has been pretty good for Pete, but he does have two direct competitors that work within a pretty close proximity of his business. Now, unfortunately, Pete isn't very tech savvy and he's struggling to stand out online. This has obviously hurt his business over the last few years and it's something that he needs to change. Now, although in this case, Pete is a made up character for the purpose of this video, this is a very, very common position a lot of business owners find themselves in. The core problem that Pete has is he has no idea how to use social media to help his business. And unfortunately, he has no disposable funds to hire a team that can then deliver that work for him. So the question is, how could AI help Pete? Well, luckily for Pete, he now has the ability to use ChatGPT to not only create assets and deliverables for him, such as newsletters, social media captions, and ad copy for his business, but Pete can now also use ChatGPT as his very own personal consultant that understands what his business needs. He can literally go to ChatGPT and ask it to deliver him 
him a detailed guide on how to grow his Instagram or how to get better at CEO. He can even ask it on how to grow a car customization business. So in this case, Pete now has a huge advantage on his competition because he literally has an assistant that costs him nothing and an assistant that understands what his business needs and how he can best deliver for his specific business. Now, this is obviously just one example, but ChatGPT is going to change the framework for small to large businesses in so many more ways. GPT is efficient, it's smart, it's still in its infancy and it's only gonna get better. And like I said before, it's only limited to how detailed we get with the prompts that we put into it. You can literally come to ChatGPT right now and ask it to create you legal documents for your business, all catered to your wants and needs. You just have to be specific with what you input into ChatGPT. It can handle your social media plan and content. It can handle your SEO and deliver you quality content, news articles and blogs. And it doesn't just stop at ChatGPT. For example, there's a tool called Tome that can create you a detailed business presentation in under three minutes on any topic. There's an AI that can generate you logos and artwork with a click of a button. There's even an AI that can create super high quality human-like videos fueled by a script that you put into it. AI is only just getting started. So what else is it gonna be able to do in a few years time for your business? Now moving on to point two, and that is gonna be what impact is AI going to have on your day-to-day? -day? Now it's very, very clear to me that AI is gonna have serious implications on a huge amount of businesses. As we mentioned, creating logos at the click of a button isn't very ideal for a graphic designer and completing news articles and blogs with a few prompts isn't going to be ideal for copywriters in the future and one thing that is absolutely insane that I really want to talk about is going to be AI voice. Now, most of us will receive a marketing call every now and then, and more than likely, you're also going to end up calling your doctor, maybe your accountant, maybe you're going to call your barber to make a booking to go in. Now, Alex Hormozzi made an incredible video. He actually spoke about Google's personal assistant AI that was released almost four years ago. So check out this next clip. It does get a little bit wild. I will warn you. What's happening out here? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. First name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. It's pretty crazy, right? Alex then went on to explain how this could change the entire sales and marketing industry. You know, why do we need call centers when AI can learn from millions of sales calls and become the perfect salesman overnight? And unfortunately for us, that applies for a ton of different industries. And this is really something that you do need to consider. For example, a receptionist whose only job is to take calls and arrange bookings is likely going to be competing with AI for their job in the very near future. The AI can do it better than you as it's learned from thousands of pre-recorded phone calls. It's probably a tenth for the price because you don't need to pay AI salary. It knows what to say. It never has a bad day, meaning customer service is on point at all times. And also it never calls in sick to work. So imagine that. But guys, AI will 100% replace some workforce and some industries. And I'm not saying we all need to start freaking out and panicking because everyone's gonna lose their jobs tomorrow. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. But you do need to look at the facts here. And my dad actually has a research and development company and they create detailed reports on engineering companies in the UK regarding UK law on R&D tax credits. Now, he asked ChatGPT what examples of R&D can be found in a UK metal engineering company to qualify for R&D tax credits. He then went on to change his entire website copy as ChatGPT had given him a better description of tax credits specifically for engineers than he could have ever written himself. So I think you can see my point here. Now, I don't want to get all doom and gloom as the future with AI is definitely a bright one if you position yourself in the right place. So let's move on to my final part, and that is gonna be how can you use AI as a superpower. Now, just like the examples that I've used inside of this video, you can clearly see the opportunity business owners have to take control of things they originally had no clue about within their business. Now, what if I was to tell you that luckily for us, the average human being and business owner is lazy as f 
and they won't use AI as a tool. They'll look at it as another hurdle to understand, just like they have with social media. I worked within the social media marketing world for over three years. Now we served our clients with Facebook ads, Instagram ads, social media management, social media content creation. And do you know how difficult it was to convince some business owners that they needed to be running paid ads in their local area to get local business coming in through their doors? Guys, sometimes the obvious choice is overlooked and is seen as this unachievable challenge. But luckily you can capitalize on that because most business owners are not the next Elon Musk. They're not the next Bill Gates. They're normal people that are winging it, trying to get through life with little to no drive to learn new things even when it brings in top end revenue for their business and helps build their brand so what opportunity does that leave us with well it's pretty simple now chat gpt offers way more than just a front end website where you can ask it a few prompts it actually has an api now in layman terms the gpt api is a tool that allows developers to build custom applications that can then deliver the human like responses from ChatGPT onto a custom and separate platform. Now these applications could be chatbots that carry on a conversation with a user, or they could be used to generate text for other purposes like we've already spoken about within the copywriting field. The API essentially translates any input from prompts from your custom website to ChatGPT, where the prompt would then be answered by ChatGPT for it then to be sent back to your custom platform that you have been building. Now, obviously this makes it look as if your site is the one that answered the difficult question and the prompt and your site is the one that provided the information to your customers on their request. Now, the API is fairly simple to integrate. Now, obviously that means that developers can focus on building the features of their custom applications rather than worrying about the details of how the text is generated and building out this crazy custom AI. So here are a few examples of websites that have already done this and have been making millions. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you would have seen Lenza AI. Now, Lenza AI creates these custom artwork pieces once you upload some selfies to their custom app. Now, the app itself doesn't actually create or own any AI technology. All they're doing is using an API of a different AI, which is creating all of the artwork that they are then selling. These guys actually made $10 million in under a week with their service. Another one is Writer. And what Writer does, it essentially condenses prompts into easy use cases. For example, instead of having to type in everything that you need into a prompt, you can use Writer to go on and you can select email subjects or Instagram captions. And then using the likes of ChatGPT's API, they can then deliver the smart responses to their clients. The last one I wanna mention is gonna be Jasper AI. And this company is actually valued at $1.5 billion dollars and it pretty much does exactly what chat gpt does now the only difference is it is packaged in a way that is easy and simple for users to follow and understand there's no learning required as jasper pretty much provides you with the questions you need in order for the ai to do its magic so as you can see ai is already being used to fuel businesses and i know it does sound too good to be true but in this case it's not. If you're tech savvy and you can manage to develop and build a custom platform and then integrate some form of AI API, you can then spawn a business using that AI. Think about the industries that are going to be replaced and then plan on building within those industries. Provide some value, look at pain points, see how you can solve them pain points using AI. And then you're gonna stand a pretty good chance of doing well, especially if you get started soon. The market is bound to become oversaturated, so timing is so crucial here. And if finding a developer is completely foreign to you, then you can actually fill in the form in the description of this video where we have a team of devs that can pretty much handle anything you throw at them. So we're more than happy to hop on a call and have a chat through any ideas that you may have. Now, if you aren't as tech savvy and you don't have the funds to invest in a developer, what's stopping you from using ChatGPT's native website and providing all of the services we spoke about today directly to your clients. You know, you can go out and sell your services in the DMs. It's really that simple. Now, it really isn't that hard to think of some industries that you could serve. But if you did want some examples of different businesses that you could start using AI, again, click the link down below, leave your email, and I will send you my custom AI newsletter where you can learn about all different types of businesses that you can start with AI. As well as that, you can obviously just watch some more videos on this channel. We've spoken about a few different business models and a couple of different businesses that you could start with AI today, along with step-by-step -step guides on how you can do them. Overall, AI, in my opinion, is going to increase
increase the speed in which we can get tasks done. It's going to improve our daily lives. It's going to remove the mundane and boring tasks away from it. hopefully leaving us to focus on parts of business that only humans can do for now. If you did like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Let me know in the comments, is your job at risk from AI? And if it is, what are you going to do about it? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.